Dear brothers and sisters, I'm Pastor Leung. I will lead you in prayer today. As the government gradually lifts the shelter-in-place order, we all have different concerns about the full resumption of work and normal daily lives in a near future. Before we pray on these worries, I would like to lead you to pray a famous prayer that many of us might have already known to prepare us for the unknown road ahead. Let's pray together. Dearest God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is. Not as I would have it, trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, so that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever in the next. I pray all this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Brothers and sisters, good to see you today. Today we are at Romans chapter six. Have you ever watched a trapeze show? There is always a safety net at the bottom. The safety net's function is to keep the trapezes safe. Moreover, it gives them a second chance to go back up and keep practicing right after they fall down. That's the right attitude of a professional trapezist. You never see them stay on top of the safety net and just to play around, right? Paul reminds us today that we should also have the right attitude after receiving the salvation of Christ. Verse four says, "We are therefore buried with Him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life." The salvation of Christ is like a spiritual safety net for all of us. Is always giving us a second chance to keep practicing until we become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. And this is the grace of God. And now we understand that God's purpose is not to punish us, but to encourage us to grow, to grow in Christ gradually. Therefore, we should keep moving forward in Christ and don't let go of God, no matter what happens. It's because Satan is always playing with our guilty mindset, which is causing us to leave God. Satan might tell you that you are not going to make it. You are not going to make God's standard, and just to give up and live a worldly life. Or Satan might say Satan might uh, uh, tell you that since God loves you so much, it's okay. Don't worry. Just keep sinning. Brothers and sisters, are you sinning right now? Just to be honest with you, I always do. But please remember that God loves us and forgave all our sins through His salvation. That is why we should respond to Him with a、uh, with with the right attitude, so that we may live out a life to testify God. Let's learn to be a professional Christian, and let. Others to see God's uh, uh, through us, and also to see our good attitude in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll see you next time.